Mazel tov. Here Mazel we go, tov. boys and girls. Check it out. This is the DVNR podcast, broadcasting semi-live from the Hoffmangler Studios, which is my basement. <laughs> I am Chris Hoffman, Hoffmangler. This, my colleague to the left. That'd be me, Joshua Butterfield. Joshua B. SLC on DVNR. Jeremy Gates, Steampunk 38, better than Steampunk 37. We have a special uh, guest who wandered in from the street. Uh, Tim Slover, a uh, newcomer to the DeviantArt podcast. Perfect. Huge comic book fan, has a lot of great feedback for what we're doing here. And then way at the end... Way over there. Hi, it's Mark Avo again. The Mark Avo on DeviantArt podcast. And you can find my, you know, my little... <laughs> words and stuff on the Big Shiny Robot. He writes pretty words for a cool website. So, uh, what we wanted to say... Oh, first off, we are not affiliated with DeviantArt. We are just fans, and this is just a fun podcast that we do. And what do we do on this fun podcast, Did you we, may ask? Is someone coming after us legally? No, this is just one of those things... The We're going down! I was going to wonder, you didn't tell me this was your basement. You said this was a castle. Yes, <laughs> this is a castle. This is Camelot. No, this is a Hilton. But no, this is the DeviantArt awesome Podcast. And what do we do? We look at awesome artwork <laughs> on DeviantArt, and today we have decided to check out Jamie Faye X. Wonderful Jamie... artist. Mm -hmm. It might be Jamie Fakes. Jamie Fakes? Oh, but you can't fake this type of awesome no, artwork. No, you can't. Jamie, I wouldn't. Tell us if we're saying it wrong, my friend. Jamie Faye X or Jamie Fake? Probably Jamie Faye X. Okay. I, I would go with Faye X. Never mind. Scrap. Near and dear to our hearts, uh, Jamie and his friends actually produce a, a several self-published comic books. Uh, one of them called the uh, Neverminds, which uh, we uh, or I ordered one uh, copy of, and he was kind enough to send these out as uh, editorial copies here, so we could check them. And I love it, amazing artwork, and he's going to get a package of uh, Salt City Stranger stuff right back at him for his super generosity. But he's also going to get his artwork checked out on this uh, podcast. So what we've done is we've picked out three of our favorites from his gallery, and we're going to go ahead and take a look at them. He's got this awesome uh, slideshow that's going on right here that's like hard to not keep looking at with the, it, it really all is. these cool Marvel characters going by. But we're going to tear ourselves away and look at a panel, uh, a page of the Neverminds. This is uh, Jeremy's pick. This is my pick, and this comes out of his episode number two. Uh, all three episodes, wonderful. I highly, highly suggest you pick them up and add them to your collection. What I love about 2 is the story takes a very interesting twist, and I'm not going to give anything away, but it takes a very interesting twist. The artwork gets very dark and brooding, and I love it. The artwork in all three of his books is full color. It's very, very, very well done. Buy the books just for the artwork. It's important to note, one of the reasons that this, uh, this story is so cool is sometimes there's a disconnect between the artist and the writing, and the one is trying to tell one story, and the other is telling a completely different story. In this case, um, either the writer has such an intuitive understanding of where the art is going, or vice versa, but there's a fusion in these where the, the, the story uh, lends itself well to the art style and the art itself, and the art lends itself well to the writing. So, um, w of course, we're focusing on Jamie Faye X, uh, or is it Jamie Faye 10? Do you think it might be a Roman oh, numeral? Yeah, is Roman. it Roman numeral? <laughs> if you are Roman, good sir, <laughs> and it's Jamie Fay 10 of the prestigious 10th in the line. Uh, but either way, uh, it's it's really nice to see that fusion, and uh, I, I just enjoy they, it for they've that. They've got an excellent team. They're obviously working very well together uh, to get their art and their writing to, to correspond. I, I totally agree. Synergy. 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 So you know what? You know what? We kind of jumped right into the artwork here. The Neverminds is a comic book about a set of superhumans who it's it's sort of like like my favorite things about Booster Gold. Booster Gold from the DC <laughs> Comics, where he's the character that like no, I've never you heard that word Gold. before. He'll rescue you and then charge you for it. He'll oh, be yeah, like, yeah, that was twenty bucks uh, <laughs> to get your cat out of the tree. One of my Love favorite Booster comic book characters, and this is sort of a take on that. Uh, these are superhumans who actually are contracted. To either That's be right. run security or they are uh, clandestine um, uh, missions, that sort of stuff. So, but yeah, right. go ahead. And read all, I've read all three, and it definitely leaves you wanting more. Mm -hmm. The storyline is very intriguing, very interesting, has a very unique twist to it, and we definitely want to know what happens. In but the next but not wanting more, as in like, is this all I get? But as in like, damn, that was a delicious <laughs> bowl of ramen. I wish there were two more bites in that mother grabber. You well, you'll, every comic book, and you guys know this because you're comic book writers, 
every good comic book should uh, end making you want a little more. That's sure. Right. It should it should leave you thinking that like the next issue is going to give you some closure. If it doesn't, something's horribly wrong. And you've got this this panel right page right here is uh, Nina and Alanis, who uh, uh, um, Nina's my favorite. Nina has like a, a <laughs> I like her a tortured past that they're actually dealing with in this in this issue. She has the powers of being able to. You can see in the very last panel here, she can teleport short distances. But she had like a traumatic event that happened and they're sort of dealing with it in this and the emotions from the characters the nice panel layouts the action moving from the panel to the next great dialogue it's a really fun comic to read. Uh, highlight for just a second if you will my good friend uh the the um the effect downstairs of the teleportation yeah. the yeah. cross hatching and um you i mean they're really selling unique. it What's up? Yeah, that's a unique look. You don't really see that. Yeah, it's of, really uh, cool and that that had to come straight from Jamie Faye the tenth, um, <laughs> right from right from their mind. So um, very impressed. And again, it's just it's it's a it's a cool scene. And by the way, in all seriousness, Nina really is my favorite character because she's saucy. Cool. So Tim, and brooding. Tim, and you're brooding. being awful quiet there. What'd you get? You know, I'm looking at this <laughs> for the first time, and I haven't had the chance to read it yet. But what I'm noticing right off the bat is the eye work with these characters. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yep, you know, call. they're they're slightly bigger than I, you know, you'd see mm -hmm. typically, especially for this sort of like got an anime feel. Yeah, uh, and it's it's really expressive and I think that it sort of makes it stand out from like sort of realistic superhero kind of drawing mm -hmm. that you see a lot of the time. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, in fact, I bet there probably is some manga influence if you if you dive into Jamie Faye the Oh, you can, see, you can see like in the hair and well, in, in the, the panel the, breaks. Yeah. yeah. The panel breaks are very yeah. manga inspired. I mean, we're yeah. not talking Attack on Titans here, but there is definitely an anime influence. For and sure. and hey, this is my pick. Josh, this is yours. So this is a really cool uh, image here because it is surreal. Um, and if you read through the dialogue, you know this is this is some of the most clever writing I think because it's um, it's telling the story. But I mean the art is just fantastic. Well, Alanis, uh, she moves between these two different worlds. She moves between reality and she moves into this other dimension where she interacts with these things that talk to her and tell her these different things that are going on. Well, and that's and part of the story. Yeah. We're, trying to, we're trying to figure out. Uh, what what's that going is. on yeah mm -hmm. where she's going what that x but is. gosh what what this is what a fairy tale like if you could create your little fairy tale tale world this is what it looks like everything is bright and pretty and um the fireflies the, and the there's bugs. fireflies and there's crystals and look at these uh, you know crazy flowers and the ornamentation on her dress the dress itself now I don't know who Jamie Faye the Tenth really is in life, <laughs> <laughs> but I will say that this is a really beautiful dress. Mm -hmm. Like very sharp looking, the ornamentation around the neck. I mean, um, if if Jamie Faye the Tenth doesn't want to go into comic books, <laughs> <laughs> could, be, could go into fashion. Could go into the fashion. About the, and the, I'm not being facetious. No, That's it. it's truly very pretty. The super cool thing is, uh, I've read a lot of books on digital coloring. And he hits all the bases here. He's got like the cool rim lights going on on here, the the good shadows. She's got obviously like this backlighting, and the lights that are coming from all sides, and everything is illuminated here. is is represented on the on the figures in the in right. the folds of the dress. It's all very very tight. It is. There's not a lot here that's I, nothing here that I could really uh, really pick out to be like you're not. Uh, this doesn't. You know what I mean? This looks like it could have been a, a, a and if you did, I, book. If you did, I'd punch you. Jump right in there. No, it's a, it's an, <laughs> and it's an attractive palette mm -hmm. too. You know the who's doing the colors for Hawkeye right now? Um, Eliopolis, I think, mm -hmm. is his name. And you know, you go with like three colors, like the color is the is mm -hmm. is, is Faye the tenth the colorist here too? No, that's <laughs> what I was just gonna say. You know, okay. the, he's. I, I was just gonna say, like, just talking about the artwork itself, like the yeah. colors. He did not do the colors on this one. It's, well, whoever um, did needs the, some credit too for you oh, know, for picking sure. out really, a few this is, a few colors and yep. doing a whole lot with but, them. But so he does the he does all the pencils and the inking. So you can tell on this one, it's left everything. It all comes together. Like it, if you have bad pencils it's not a whole bunch the the i mean inking will help but then it's going to still fall apart because the foundation's right. not there and the coloring is not going to look right because the foundation of the inking is not there I mean, everybody thinks yeah. that 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 each one of those jobs gets subsequently easier yeah and it doesn't no, no in no, no way shape or form does it get easier anywhere down the line i think the it goes back to clean to, on this it goes back to they they've 
they've got a good team and they're working. Yeah, they're yeah, working absolutely. Well. It really comes and together. They, you got to really think about that. That's they're doing the same thing we're doing with the strangers. They just have this cool idea and they have like four books under their uh, under the uh, Drumfish uh, Drumfish uh, Productions. Um, uh, it's not Drumfish Productions. I have to look at the, the actual URL again. But they're doing this as a uh, Drumfish, no. It is Drumfish, Drumfish Productions. Productions. Yeah, <laughs> look at my memory. Drumfishproductions.com. Mystery solved. And Drumstick Productions. Drum Drumfish. Drum sounds delicious, Jamie Faye the Tenth. <laughs> uh, I just wanted one word on hmm. this one. Uh, ethereal. Nah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, so surreal. We were gonna. Yeah, so oh, well. I can't zoom in on this one. Let me see if I can get this up a, a little bit more. This is my pick. Oh yeah, here, perfect. Hey. So I love this. He, uh, uh, Jamie, did these these uh, sketches of how he wanted these uh, statues to look, and I love the fact that they're doing this. I want to do this with with our comic yeah. desperately. I think this is so cool. But he uh, did this layout, these pictures, and then they the sculptor like made the action figure or statue. These are amazing. I can't believe how cool that is. That's the process. I mean, it's a great picture, but the fact that he's that an independent artist. Like, imagine this. Like, not even like five or seven years ago. Like oh, that, yeah. someone would just haul off and just be like, "I'm gonna print five of my own comic, four of my own comics. Um, I'm gonna do like without the desktop publishing tools that you have now. I'm gonna like have 3D statues made. <laughs> right." Unheard of. I'm just gonna be. Able, I'm just gonna ship these out to the directly to the consumer as they as they buy them. They look. I mean, that looks. That looks. If you were to tell somebody, "Hey, this is a unknown DC character. Artifacts is doing." Yeah. They'd say, I buy it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. They, they wouldn't know. It they looks, wouldn't it, know the it difference. It looks just about like artifacts. Yeah. Put Especially that, with that anime. Yeah. Influence. Put that. Put that in one of those anime con boxes. Uh, Emicom. What is that? What? Anime bonsai. Yeah. No. That's awesome. <laughs> Never mind. No, the big one. The big, big one. Yeah. Yeah, Tammy Con. Yeah, and then you sat there and you were like, yeah, for sure. Like, fact, people would be like, oh, cool. I thought this was Battle Angel Alita when we first sat down. <laughs> so there you go. Is anyone buying it's, that? It's no. just amazing. It's really cool that they're able to do this and pull this off. <laughs> Kudos to you guys. I, I just love that Jamie Faye the 10th is, like, really crossing over into... <laughs> <laughs> Who's the first one you guys are going to make? Because uh, my vote's on Son of Bigfoot. <laughs> What? Yeah, we were we were thinking Gull the was gonna goal. be was gonna come up. So this the is the Gull or Den Mother for a statue, right? Yeah. For a little statue to go yeah, along with the Kickstarter campaign. Like yeah, uh, no love. Like a little, for the like son a little of Bigfoot. son of Bigfoot. It He's would be super, but a little, a, a little Moon Knight style mm -hmm. type one. Yeah. So anyway, this is Drum fi Drum Fish Productions. So you can get Bugged, Sentinels, Neverminds, and uh, Anthology here. They've got all their stuff, but they're just a they're a comic book company. These guys are just image, just on a small scale. And uh, so, anyway, super awesome. The Neverminds is, is great. Uh, get copies of this. Check them out. Make sure you go and give them a llama. Yeah, on... llamas, llamas, llamas on Davian Art. And also, dear viewers, realize that there are practical applications for your talent. Um, this is an example of a great artist who has hooked up with a, a wonderful inker um, and uh, a great writer. They're producing a comic book on their own. And you know what? Two years from now... Um, they're gonna they, either the this label is going to be big, and we're all gonna be going. Wow, we were here first, and we're gonna be totally hipster about it. Or, <laughs> this, or that you You've know, never heard of this guy. or image is gonna be like, ooh, join us. But I mean, how cool is that to, to be able to do something and change the world with your art? Mm -hmm. And that's what's happening right here. And so it's just our hats off to doing something with it and and living the dream because that's that's what people want to do sure. with their their talents awesome. and, and use deviant art to make those connections with other artists yep for sure Absolutely. cool that's well thanks for watching llamas. yep sorry cut you off no i said that's why you give them llamas yeah the... give them llamas okay yeah. sign us out good buddy awesome thank you so much for watching the deviant art podcast uh say jamie say hi to all the other uh other nine jamie phase that came before you <laughs> give thanks to all of their all of your predecessors. <laughs> your story and, uh, <laughs> Jamie Faye the seventh was previously my favorite. Don't. Um, but <laughs> until now. He's but like Jamie Faye the three better. Yeah, three was, better. He was a big deal. Big huge. Yeah. Like in the Jamie Faye world. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe and go ahead and say goodnight, Tim. Good night. Thanks for uh, having me with you guys. Hey, thanks for being here. Yeah. Ooh, let's just watch this for a second. <laughs> <laughs>